Yep. Um, from the last video, I told you that I will create a button, but I don't want to create a button when I don't see the effect of this layout. So if you remember, when I won the app, we have we have this, and I, I said you that I don't know where is the end from here and where is the end from here. So I would like to add CSS and or color to my labels so so I could know where they start and where they end and I, I could design my I, my app better with button or something like that or even the toolbar I can do something so let's try to add the CSS yeah um yeah I can create a file here in style sheet and I can call it layout yeah so I'm here layout dot CSS so I can I can start by by writing my CSS code so we could um, yeah I don't really remember we have to see it again yeah we can uh, design the box layout that's this, this is the most important for us because we want to see uh, what we are doing so yeah I could add just Q label and just my codes like background color and I can choose something like that dark green yeah but this is not the, the thing that we want to do because if you know CSS I think that I will create a video about those things but if you know CSS already you can see that Q label when I use Q label that's mean the green background will apply for this one because it's a Q label as well and also for this one so I will have no difference it's like I leave it like white as it is right now so that's why I told you that we have to to have a name for every every um, object like for this one I will create another thing so let's let me give them a name for now so self dot Im image label so set object name yeah this is very important for CSS and we can create it like image label and here also yeah you can put it wh wherever you want but I just put it here yeah and up lab option label yeah so by doing this I have opportunity now to to like um, give each of them a color so see I can put it this like dark green and here to call the object by name we use this one like in lab I think like yeah like that, yeah in lab so you can see right now even when I won the program I will not have the color because I didn't link the CSS file to my main windows or to my main, main window yet so to do this I have to go back to my main window and I have to add the CSS file so before this code I can put it somewhere here if you want sorry so I can add my CSS will be layout dot CSS yeah that's not all yeah, and we can with open 
the file on my CSS, we will use the read. We don't want to write at it. We need to read it as the CSS file. And we put it self application. Yeah, this is that we use here the Q widget, QD widget application, and we set the style sheet to the file. Yeah, and read. So with this, we link the CSS file that we have created layout.css and we link it to the application. So let's see if it works right now. Yeah, it works. So you can see I had space to add the image, but I didn't know about that. And also I have space up here. So yeah, let's leave it like that for now. Yeah, I would like to change the color right now because I don't like this color. So I can come from here and add something like, yeah, a better one, light steel blue. And right now I can go again to Q label, Q label, and I think that I created option live I hope let's see uh, yeah open the live lab. yeah and by ground color we can use yeah, probably a darker one yeah I'm not good at color because yeah you know Dark gray, I don't know. No. Yeah, maybe it will be ugly, but never mind. Light sky blue or or this one. Let's take this one. So let's see. Yeah can be let's leave it like that so right now as you can see my toolbar is not so nice so we can create the we can design the Q bar the Q toolbar using CSS as you can see as we did it before so I will go back to my CSS and add something on the toolbar so yeah as you could see here q toolbar toolbar you know we can add padding to it like 15 pixel i don't know if it will be enough and font size like 20 pixels <coughs> sorry and yeah let's see yeah exactly we have it big bigger yeah and I don't know if it's enough like that yeah but let's leave it like that so at the end we could right now add a button so you can see yeah, I want to remove my time here so we we'll have to say it's a pity that I'm still up right now so let's leave it there right now yeah and the time here yeah never mind so yeah this is a good start from now so what we can do now is add some function to our menu 
or add some submenu. You know, when we click on like by charm we have file you can see the drop down yeah I want to create this drop down here also so what we can do yeah is go ahead and create that this is my menu here I will create some sub menu on it yeah so I can create like open menu open I have already had open so let's add something like yeah we can add open menu never mind open menu I do want to repeat myself here I have I think that I have open in my yeah I have open file okay it's good like that yeah I have open menu we can add um q widget and q action as you remember q action and yeah we can use the icon again if you want and uh, open image or whatever open yeah image so we have to put it on the window remember the window and right now we can we can add even shortcut on this open menu um set shortcut and yeah we can use control don't worry if you are on mac it will work on Mac also. Yeah, we have Control O to open. When we use the keyboard, we can do anything that we want. And one more thing that we can do with the status bar that I said me uh, last time, we have set status T. So when we mouse over hit over the open menu, we will see this text on the status bar so we can add uh, open a file yeah from the status bar yeah right now we have to or we could like um, add some function add on click function when someone click on the menu what we can see but let's leave it for later yeah so yeah we can create again another menu like or what we well, what we could have open let's add the quit menu quit menu will be the same qt widget qt action and quit self but windows window yeah so we can have like quit menu and set status tip leave the application and also quit menu and set shortcut Remember, we use we we use the keyboard Q last time. And now we can just add something like that. Control Q. So let's see. For now, it will not work because we didn't attach those menu to anywhere. You can see we have final menu. We attach it to the menu bar that we create here. And the menu bar we attach it to the unit grid and this one we attach it to the window so those menus we have to attach them somewhere so so let's attach them to the file file menu so or associate menu to the 
file menu or file menu so what we have to do is file menu and uh, add action yeah and we put the open menu and if you want we can also add file menu add separation or separator and file menu yeah and add action quit menu so yeah it should work right now so let's see yeah we have the application and now we can create a file you can see comment O even though I write control O so the application knows that I'm on Mac it gives me the option with comments so we have come in queue and look you can see here when I'm go when I'm going over the when I'm just the mouse over the functions and you can see here and the tool and the status bar we have open the file right now and here we have leave the application so when I click here the application is still alive because I didn't create the function yet yet so for now it's quite all so let's cut this video here and start a new video to show you how to create like um, triggered and slot so see you in the next video